Welcome back. You're still watching E Vibes, the entertainment show on Seed Nature TV. I have an interesting guest today, and trust me, he's an interesting one. His name is Hype Man Jazz. We've had yeah, him before, yeah. and today we'll be relaxed. I never introduce <laughs> you. <laughs> we'll be talking okay. about um, these issues of the killing of music artists. It was just last weekend, yeah, okay, yeah. that one of a high life music artist was shot dead. It's a trending story. So he is here as a music artist to analyze it. So thanks for joining me today, Hype Man Jazz. Thank you for having me too. Why you define this economy? No, they touch your body. Me define like this. Yes, now. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I don't think I look fine. So you're the one that you know. It's me that will tell you. It's people that will tell you. Oh. But I'm telling you right now that you're that you're not fine. Like me? You're making the room glow, you know, that kind of thing. You know. Stop whining me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's delve right at it, okay? Uh, you heard the trending story, Abi? Yeah, about Ibuja. Yes, yeah, Ibuja. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know, because I heard something like that to last two weeks. Okay. You know Jerick? Yes. I heard the shot his friend, Smith. Mm. I don't know why. Mm. And... In all, most of our entertainment stories, some of these music artists have come out to ask, why are these policemen in most of these checkpoints? I know Ibu Jazz's case is different from this, okay? Yes, right. Because Ibu Jazz own, they invited him to come play. Exactly. Okay? Right. But in Jarek's friend's case, they stopped him and I don't know, you know how police can yeah, be and you're trying yes, to exactly. prove that you have your own human rights and just like that they shot the the young man mm -hmm. is it that they are now coming for music artists i don't get it um in my own sense i won't say well they are coming for music artists but in a nutshell there have been a lot of police harassments with buju back in the day a lot of portable small doctor a lot mm -hmm. of artists yeah you know but i would say it's a normal thing for them because let's say as the story went he was coming back from a show obviously mm -hmm. and right now you see cases of arm robbers and um, headsmen or as they call it yeah. in the police uniforms or camo so when you see a checkpoint you want to uh, be sure came out on the police be here on the police. Not, yeah. so the reason now why they opened fire on him is still uncertain Mm -hmm. he wasn't armed he didn't prove any threat to them so why would you come and you know kill the young man like why? that it's very unbearable so i would say it's a general thing in usher mm. for the youths and nigeria as a whole you know it's it's really fucked up really really fucked up yeah. because i tend to understand Iboja's mm. case mm -hmm. he was coming back from a show you invited him to come play for you yes right yes, yes. and <laughs> after playing that story is crazy honestly it's honestly speaking because when i think about it i'm like was this particular person drunk is it a mistake but it can't be a mistake because i heard it earlier i heard it's eight bullets and later on i heard it's four bullets but clearly it's not just one bullet you understand so it's not something that was done accidentally even okay. though you want it's not something you say this thing was done accidentally because the amount of bullets so i don't understand why you would want to kill and so does that mean you're coming for music artists let me <laughs> well is there something in you people that they're they... seeing the star as they, like you know that's about to rise and i think this is a way out actually and they can actually find a way to hold these people down. yeah if you know, well anyway it is they want to come man they should but you know it's not just music artists too yeah. it's now everywhere because skills was like oh. he won't because earlier i thought it's maybe up and coming artists mm -hmm. like you said they see stars they see their star and yeah, they want to kill it but exactly. skills is is a made artist and he came out on social media to say <laughs> <laughs> they can do him nothing they yeah. can he's not afraid of them yeah. did you see the tweet, I saw that tweet do you understand yeah, yeah, so i'm yeah. like is it that they are coming for me i don't get it like it's heartbreaking honestly because <laughs> Our music, especially African music, Afrobeats, mm. is going global. Exactly. And Americans are beginning to love it. Yeah. Now, I'll ask you, what do you think the government should do in this particular case? Because if we keep dropping dead good music artists, mm. good Afrobeat artists, good high life artists, uh, what do we have left? 
do you want them to leave the country? <laughs> so what do you think the government should do about this? The government, okay. I would say the government actually have a hand in what's going on. They are aware because um, in some cases of some things happening, let's, let me use um, NSAS, okay. for example. Some policemen, we are, um, we are actually, what would I call it? I don't know, a jam from protesters that came to protest. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. they were jamming their cars. Why yeah. would you do something like that? My well, name reference it back to me now. Um, back in 2014, okay. you know, I lost my sister. That day was her burial, actually. Oh, so, um, so sorry. Yeah, I was going to the hospital for to take a drip mm. with my dad. And then they jammed us, if you know me. But my dad is in the paramilitary, so okay. that was why the kid actually slide, slided. You understand mm. me? So I'm trying to understand can't you actually uh, approach a citizen normally and you know politely. try to you know, politely? Must you go violently? So and you can't tell me the government doesn't see this every day. The citizens are online tweeting, you know, complaining ah. online, offline in the streets, even around them. So they can't tell me they, are, they, can, they turn a blind eye or they don't hear all these things that's going on. That's why I say they have a hand in this. And sometimes in some cases that are going on, they don't want to provide that officer. Highest they will do is suspend the person or for some weeks or something like that and bring the person back. Mm. It doesn't make any sense now. So do you think they should arrest him or what? As the government will say, every man must pay for his sins. Let him pay for his sins. You know, when karma <laughs> catches up to you, you have yeah. to pay for your sins. You may get me. So you can't just kill an innocent guy like that. And goes scotch. Anyway, for no reason, man. He didn't pose any threats to you. So honestly, you get. And that's how they go around. You know, go to people's houses, raid it, and stuff like that. Ah, why? You get me. You won't pay for damages. No. Mm -hmm. You won't pay for mental health, stress, and everything, no. And you did not see any anything on the person. So, what's the point of? You get me. And now, you know, they feel they are superior. The the uniform men, they feel they are superior. You feel and me? Aren't they? That's why the government is involved. <laughs> There's nothing you <laughs> can tell. Because they are uniform men. You get me. So anything the government is doing is at their detriment. So mm. you know, the government will say their hands are tied. You know or they have done something well as they ain't doing shit but know. like do you think this this case act has actually affected the mental health of most music artists everybody's mental health let me just put it as uh, um i know of um someone my friend mendo he's a mm. music artist um, in don in don to talk in mind for songs about it's in you understand like mm. it's like it's not something that you plan. You just come out of your house one day. Brano, I got that day. Do you get? Boy, Brano, I That's that's it. On yesterday, okay. My friend, as a stylist, told me that police stopped him because of a red cap. He know. was he was wearing a red. No, cap. no, he's in his, he's a stylist. You know, he styles musical artists. Okay. And any any styling thing is available. So okay. He said they found the, the red cap and said that it's their cap. Like I don't still understand Wait, the concept. Wait, what kind of red cap? Is it the this cultural red, Igbo red cap? The like, normal red cap. Yes, I was starting like which type of cap are you talking about? It was like the Igbo cultural cap and sent me a picture. Okay. You feel you feel me? I'm like They said it's their cap. Yes. It is How? their cap. How is you understand it? me? Yeah. And then I also encountered another incident about a condom. You found a condom in the car. You know, understand now we are like we are using the condom to do money ritual. <laughs> like how do they come up with all these scenes in their head they see you immediately and okay you're you're clean or you're not with anything they will use something and hold you down even if there's nothing they'll just because how can you tell me they use condom condom so how can you say that you're using it to do money with us it's very insane now you get me it's it's very insane so but like what i don't know I'm not a music artist. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Like you said, most people are still lamenting on social media, mm -hmm. complaining. But do you think the social media comments has actually laid any fruit since then? <sighs> Honestly, not so no. It's just us still coming up um, after every five years, every four years, every three months, complaining, saying shits, you know, and then the next week we are back inside and the government are back to the way they were. Understand? I don't think there's anything positive that has been done so far. I don't think so. And I so don't we're just think we're just pouring water on stone. 
Yeah, anything was than stones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apart from your friend, um, they say the red cap is their cap yeah. and all that. Yeah. Have you encountered any? Like recently, have you encountered the police harassing? Oh, my, my if you talk. Oh. What have they? Well, they have a couple of times, you know, for actually no reason, you know, reasons of probably they want to get into my phone for what reason, you know, <laughs> it's it's my device, and also um I, I don't know was it the DSP or the CP was like you don't have any rights to search any citizen's phone so why are you going wanting to go through my phone okay. it's uncalled for now you get me it's uncalled for the other day my i was my friend um and they stopped us because of tinted glass tinted glasses i know when tinted glass was like okay uh, the governor then was like okay yes everybody should but how can you stop me because of tinted glass now like everybody has tinted you know the stories they come up with is very very you know <laughs> hilarious you get me <laughs> hilarious and after you don't encounter them finish yeah your day is gone you just wasted you get me because okay let me ask something yeah. else why i don't know do you think they are actually harassing you people you know music artists have a way they dress they dress <sighs> fly flashy you know they're entertainers do you get me yeah so do you think they are harassing you people because of your appearance <sighs> Well, it's not about their parents, it's about we are, we are youths, we are young bloods. Because how do they want me to look exactly? You understand? How do they Maybe want like me to look? Maybe like a pastor. Maybe like a pastor. <laughs> no, pastor see the collects now. You call a pastor, say, get a hand. They police the police. So, how do they want me to dress? It's just, uh, it's just that, you know, they feel that everybody who is this way mm. is supposed to be illegal. Oh, yeah you're supposed to have something on you that go, gonna hold you it's but man it's not that way it's because we are actually over here in africa outside in europe it's you know it's not that way now you feel me they can't judge you because of your appearance appearance is just what you want to look like you know it's not exactly how you are inside it's just how you want to look like you know the fashion the style so we should not be judged by our appearance or you know stuff like that we have to look nice now so can i have yeah, okay. Is it by your niceness that they'll be paying you money? Oh, oh then cash again now. You guys, you guys look fine. Right, so Dress how you want to be addressed. Exactly. I heard that too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy I really think it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I. Yeah. It's har It's hurtful. Okay, yeah. I don't want to keep um, talking about talking about uh, this because it's going to get me emotional. Yeah. I don't want a situation whereby tomorrow another artist to be dropped dead. Hmm. So let's let's talk about you. I know you have an event coming up. Yeah, yeah. So what's the whole idea about the event? Um, it's a beach party. Okay. In Apuke, coded in Apuke Beach 2.0. Yeah. We did um, last year's edition too at Apuke Beach. So this year would be at um, Apuke Beach by Gariki on 14th December. Okay. You know, a lot of fun games, a lot of um, hype men and DJs, King Como, Viga Jibo. You know they're gonna be there live, and um, is it like a music concert? No, it's no, it's no performance concert. Okay. It's a party, a rave, a coded party. Whenever coded is involved, it's like it's a party, a free show. Okay. You know, just come, come and have fun. You know, free cocktails for the ladies, the guys. You know, okay. yeah, it's going to be crazy. That's just what I'm gonna say. December fourteenth. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. Okay, so um, I checked your description on your social and <laughs> why are you are laughing are you uh, are you uh, are you uh, an investigative <laughs> no, no 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 yeah. no not really not really uh, but i would like to know i like to know more about my guests uh, okay so i found out that you're a female music a music how do we say okay. a female music artist okay. manager yeah so talk to me about it um okay it's actually farm the initial is farm f-a-r-m female artist recruitment management and um, the idea for the platform is to empower women you know in a nutshell that yeah women are thriving in the industry but yeah and the uh, that's let me just go to the music sector okay. yeah some women don't actually know their sound you know they don't actually know where to start from but they know like yeah this is what i want to do yeah. and then that's where fam comes in you know brand you, you know invest in you and then that's it 
and take you and make you get to that tough you point you're supposed to. You're That's fine, yeah. nice as a as a young man. High yeah. five. So I have much. another a segment, and I want you to join me for it. Uh. With it, rather. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. It's the uh, memes of the week. Okay. Uh, okay. It's memes of the week. So we'll go on a short break. When we return, we will be reviewing this interesting memes of the week, and we will be commenting about it. So stay with us. Stay with us. <laughs> 